It's been rough out here being a dancer in NYC. So I decided to book a flight and head off to Italy. So it was my first time flying Emirates and it was really nice. They give you a little baggie with socks and a toothbrush and all this fun stuff. Then on the plane, I did all my skincare. I may only be 22, <laughs> but I want to stay youthful and hydrated. I had the entire road to myself, so I got a really good night's sleep. And I woke up and threw on some makeup because, you know, we try to look good out here on the streets of Italy. Not bad for plane makeup. We landed and we headed off to our Airbnb. Personally, I don't succumb to jet lag, so we got right to it and got some pizza. This was seriously so incredible. I can't wait for the rest of the food. And Jen and I went to the Duomo, which was so pretty. The architecture and history is so cool, and you get to go up to the roof and see all the amazing views. And we went to, like, the coolest Zara that ever exists. I bought some cute things, but forgot to film it. Since jet lag doesn't exist, we continue to power through. Started out strong with an incredible bottle of Prosecco. We just stumbled on this restaurant and went in, and it was actually incredible, but it was funny because when they found out we were American, they said, there is no pasta and no pizza, which we just found really funny. And the waiter gave me his phone number. He's actually kind of cute, but he didn't really speak English, so I don't really know how that's going to work out. We're staying in the Navigli area, and there's a ton of cocktail bars, so we checked out a few. I'm really starting to think New York is a scam. Your cocktails are like $18. These were nine. And they were some of the best cocktails I've ever had. After hitting two cocktail bars, we decided we should go out dancing. But then we got to the place and the vibe just wasn't there. So we went home and went to sleep.